up YouTube, welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So today I am at a local circuit called Spa Nishiura Motor Park and I brought my uh, new bike out for a, a quick test ride. So today I've got some nice new tyres fitted, so let me just quickly show you the tyres. Okay, so in the end I decided to go for a used set of Michelin Power RS. So these tyres are, they're discontinued now. I think they stopped making them maybe two years ago. They just replaced with like, I think it's the cup version now. So they are a good sticky tyre and basically I should have no excuses. So I looked at the Michelin website and it says what the tyre pressure should be when they're hot after four laps. So I've got a little notebook with me and I'm gonna go out, do four reasonably, um, just sort of like warm up laps and then come back in and uh, set the pressures to what they recommend. So it should be good. So last time I came here, I was on my KTM uh, 990 Super Duke and I did a one minute 3.9 on Bridgestone S22 tires. So if I don't get that time today, I'm gonna to be kind of upset with myself, but there's always someone better than you, isn't there? Check this bike out. So this guy here is doing 54 second laps, which is insanely fast. I think it might even be a lap record time. And the guy's also a, uh, a foreign guy, I think he's Brazilian. And uh, he is absolutely ripping the place to bits. So we're out in the next session together, so I'm hoping I don't get in his way too much. All right, here goes nothing. I don't know why, but I'm super nervous because that amazingly fast guy is out at the same time as me. And also a fast kid on the fucking GSXR 125, which I shouldn't be worried about, but in the right hands, that could easily destroy me on this bike. Putting my ego aside, so uh, anyway, let's get out there and uh, do something. Right, so four slow laps, get the tyres warmed up, then come back inside and uh, check the pressures. So while I'm on the slow laps, I'm just going to keep it in the same gear and just practice the line that I need to be doing because I don't think I'm particularly good uh, with my lines. So I'm usually I'm keep coming turning in too too late or whatever. Oh, the fast guy's already here. He's already here. I'm going to get out of the way. There he goes. Right. I'd love to be able to just follow him around and learn his line, but yeah, there's not a chance in hell where that's going to happen. So uh, let's just cruise around slowly, get these boots up to temperature. All right, so I've just come in for a quick break, but um, it feels okay. The tires feel okay. I didn't really get, uh, oh, excuse me, that much slippage or anything. But I don't know. I'm just not getting the, the times that I want. I think the best I got just then, just looking at the time ball, was 107, which is um, pretty much the same pace that I can do this track on a SV650 on the sports touring tires. So... I think maybe I'm just a bit out of shape and a bit out of practice. It's the first time I've been here this year, so... Yeah, I guess um, I've sort of lost my way a little bit. But we've got another half an hour left, so... See if we can do anything better on the next session. Fingers crossed.
eventually. thing or a physical thing? Probably a bit of both because I'm a bit mental. I'm a bit physical. Now. Very unsmooth throttle there. I'm doing this all in one gear today, today just to sort of just get used to the handling rather than having to fuck about with James and gears all the time. Okay, I want to go. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't getting any better than that today. Oh, I need to lay off the booze. Oh. Lay off the booze and get some fucking fitness in me. Because I am fucking knackered. Oh. One hour of riding on foot. <sighs> oh man, I need a drink big time. Oh, nice cold bottle of water. Bottle of water. Bottle of water. Is that the first dude coming? If it is, I better get out of the way. No, no, it's the R6 guy. guys so that is the end of my track day today at Spa Nishira Motor Park um, despite me being a bit of a negative dude at the end I did have fun did enjoy it um, just wish I could get better times um, but yeah like I said at the beginning of the video I've got an excuse book that is probably as thick as the Encyclop Encyclopedia Britannica oh, that's a little cute little train so yeah I've got all sorts of excuses but none of them are actually real I think the main thing is just um, um, my fitness and the fact that it's just been uh, quite a while since I've been here so I've kind of f forgotten the track forgotten the lines and stuff like that so you know as they say practice makes perfect so I guess I've just got to keep coming back and keep um, keep working myself and getting those times white flag surrender don't surrender mr. Japanese man I know you lost the war but it's okay don't worry we still love you 
all right so yeah that's it guys um so like i said in my previous video only 7.8 percent of you guys who are watching my videos are actually subscribed so if you haven't please do click subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you like the video of course make sure to click the like button so i will be uploading i've got an idea actually final final thoughts i've got an idea about um i've got old footage of me in, on the ktm where i did a one minute 3.9 so today i did a one minute 6.8 i think so i'm gonna dig out that old footage and do like an overlay or a side by side with today's laps and the the laps where i actually was getting reasonable times so i'll put i'll put that just to see um where i'm going wrong i think i know where i'm going wrong but yeah, it's nice to be able to um, compare that by looking at the video. So maybe we'll break it up into sectors and maybe I'll do a little a discussion on that or something. And uh, I expect Marcus George, one of the regular commenters on my channel, will be um, there with some great advice for me as usual. So Marcus, I await your thoughts. Everybody else, see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.